Can you see that? That is a baby praying mantis in a new crassula purple dragon that I've just brought home from the nursery. Oh, how special is that? You gonna eat all of my mealy for me? And my scale? You can stick around if you do. I'm just gonna rip it out. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's early. It's been raining. Actually, it's not early anymore, but it has been raining. So what better time to do a plant haul? We went plant shopping yesterday. Now, if you're in Sydney, the Dural Glenhaven area, which is about a 25 minute drive away from where we are, is superb for nursery hopping. They have some of the most incredible nurseries out there. Lots of nurseries that also have really great variety of cacti and succulents. It's a lot of like, like, almost farmland type properties. It's sort of sitting on the outskirts of Greater Sydney a little bit before we kind of like get into people that, you know, can tend to larger properties and have animals and things like that. So Dural Glenhaven, go check out some of these nurseries there. The first batch of plants that I'm gonna show you are the ones that I am most excited about. And they're from a place called Suckers for Succulents. They are a small business led by a very sweet couple who just love growing succulents. And their plants are some of the best, most beautiful, and hardiest plants in my garden. Their plants have been able to withstand all of the extreme weather conditions of our high-rise balcony better than plants from most nurseries. And they're just, they're just a really small business. They've just got a very small, sweet setup in, in, in a front yard. Yeah, we just love buying from them. This first plant that I'm gonna show you is Echeveria Tomorrowland. I love this dark red. I'm wondering if it's going to redden up. Let me have a look. Does this actually get more red? No, it turns like a dusty. This is, this is, it's pretty much this. This is, this is exactly what I'm finding on the internet. Dark green leaves and these kind of like dusty red brown edges and underside coloring to the leaves as well. I, I have an idea for where this could go. Yeah. Ideas, ideas, ideas. This next one is called Echeveria. Oh, Prices, prices, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna try and do prices for you. Now I can't remember any of them. I have a feeling, okay, so with Suckers for Succulents, I don't think that they're massively overpriced. I think that they tend to be somewhat a little bit cheaper than what your average nursery will sell like their, their top end Echeverias for. I think this might've been like 10 or 15. I think it was 10. I think this one was $10. So you get this from Flower Power and it'll be priced at like 18, yeah, $18 or something like that. This next one I'm about to show you is really pretty. Echeveria Glam Pink. That peachiness is like digging a knife into my heart. I'm gonna have to be really particular about where I put this in my garden because depending on where I place it, a drop of rain will like, and it's green again. It's so amazing how even within such a small space, microclimates can be at play and you can have two of the same plants that are like, I don't know, like 30 centimeters apart and one will retain color much better than the other. It's wild, it's wild. But yes, this one, Echeveria Glam Pink. I just wanna eat it, it looks so good. Ugh, prices, prices, okay. Sorry, I forgot. This one was was actually a little bit more expensive. This was twenty dollars, but it is rarer. It's less common. The color is just it's it's like a it's like a candy sorbet. So uh, yeah, look, I I was I was quite happy to spend twenty dollars on this. This next one, oh my gosh, is Echeveria Alencio. Come on, the blue, the pink, the gloriousness, the heavenly artwork that is this plant and it's also blooming. Like this is just, and it's got a little baby as well. So I'm hoping it can propagate and I can just like put it all over my garden. That's what I want. Now, so when I look up the name Echeveria Alencio, E-L-E-N-C-I-O, nothing actually comes up on the internet. So I'm wondering if this is like a very rare, like cross hybrid, whatever. And then I, Tried spelling it all different ways, like Alen Alencio. Still couldn't find anything. If you know anything about this, if you've seen this plant before, let me know, because I just, I haven't seen it, and I'm not finding any information about it on the internet. Echeveria Alencio. Yeah. Very nice. 
price, 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 sorry, I keep forgetting. Uh, this one, I think was, I think this was 10 bucks. I can't remember. You know what happens to me when I go to nurseries that have like an amazing range of succulents? I just don't, I don't even register the price in my head. I see the plants, my pupils dilate, and then I'm just like, I get to the exit and I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened? Uh, so I think this was like $10. They're really, ch it could have, it could have been 15. I think for the selection of Echeverias that they have, they're really reasonably priced. Some little boutique nurseries and sellers and growers will like, you know, $25 easily, easily. I think that their prices are good at suckers. So yeah. This next one, Echeveria laulensis. Laulensis, sorry. I added an extra syllable in there. Echeveria laulensis or lolensis. Another just gorgeous, stunning, pretty, holy moly, can't take my eyes off you plant. And look how many babies it's growing. Like what the... Gorge, huh? Echeveria laulensis. Laulensis. Echeveria laulensis. 10? 10 or 15? Their, their prices are like either 10 or 15 or 20. They kind of like go up in um, $5 increments. So I have a feeling it was 10. All right, this is not a succulent, but it's a Hoya. Look at the color Hoya leaves. Didn't grab a name for this particular Hoya, but I think it might be a. Uh, Crimson Queen, is that what they're called? The ones that turn pink? I think I have a Crimson Queen already, but the <laughs> leaves aren't pinking up like this. And anything that just like turns pink or a darker green or a combination of both, I have to have it because I think it's just so pretty. So this is gonna, this is gonna go inside. I need to switch up my indoor plant situation because I have too many plants that require regular attention. I need plants that do not need daily watering, that do not need me to check in on them all the time because I have other things to do. Hoyas I think are pretty good. There's a couple of Hoyas that I have that do have mealy. So yes, at the moment they are requiring extra attention, but generally I, I, I just, I need to spend, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy and I cannot be looking after plants like they're small kindergarten children, you know? This was $15. I know that for sure. I think that's pretty good. All prices, by the way, are in Australian dollars. And I know that a lot of you watching are in the States, so there'll be a price difference thing to work out. What did we, where did we go next? Okay, we went to, of course, being in the Dural Glenhaven area, we had to go to Flower Power in Glenhaven. All Flower Powers are great, but their, their succulent and cacti collection is pretty good. Tim, of course, had to buy another gray ghost because look at it. Look at that color. Look at it. Look at it. What, 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 what color in nature is that? Like this is, this is like, I just, I don't even have the words. We need to have another gray ghost because it's good to have 20 of these on your balcony for whatever reason. What's one more? What's one more gray ghost? And it was cheap too. $30, $30 for a gray ghost. We got an astrophytum because that's always really cute and it cost ten dollars 10.99 from flower power spineless the patterning on this is striking we got a spiral aloe because we we don't have one well we do have one but it's looking rather poor uh anyway this one i mean uh, get out of town looking at something like this is like mathematics it's it's just like there's some kind of like astrophysics thing going on here that is just beyond me spiral aloe Aloe polyphyla. Yeah, that's what that's called. And this one was ow. This one was um, $18.99. So $19. Like, why do they price them at $18.99? Why? Just call it at $19. Because when we pay in cash, we actually, like, everything gets rounded up. We don't have one and two cent pieces in Australia anymore because, um, yeah. But also, no one pays in cash. I don't do cash anymore. And I don't understand. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked, but. I don't understand people in marketplace who are like cash only. I mean, I do, I get, I kind of get it. I get, I get being worried about giving someone bank details, but also just like make my life easier and just accept my pay ID. I don't want to have to go to get cash out. Just make life easy for me. It's all about me. It's all about me. Allo polyphyla. You're cute. Okay. We got a little ZZ plant again, just switching up our indoor situation to have hardier plants indoors that don't require a lot of attention now 
fun story, I used to be the kind of gardener that would actually kill a ZZ plant. And if you don't know ZZ plants, they are the hardiest indoor plant to have ever existed. They are apparently unkillable. And many, many, many moons ago, before I cared about plants, I managed to kill one. So I've come a long way, friends. I've, I, I, I look how much I've grown. Long gone are the days where I was killing ZZ plants. Again, not a succulent, that was $10. Where else did we go? Oh, oh yes. Okay, so I bought this. This was $15. I kind of love how this Hawthorne stacks up like this and I've been trying to find one that's already kind of like at this stage of growth. I hope that if I leave it out in the sun, it's gonna color up, but we'll see. It's really funny. I bought this one first and then we went to another nursery where I got this. Now this is definitely my kind of Hawthorne. Don't give me like the perfectly manicured little things with white pebbles in them. Like, no, give me something wild something that you can shove up against a cactus and it looks like it's it's like a little what do you call those i want my pots to look like little dioramas that have just been pulled out of the desert this is what i'm all about i like it and it's so orange it has probably not seen a whole bunch of yeah it's just sliding out so Jeez. I mean, the roots look good. They look good, but you can tell that they were just kind of like left there to fend for themselves. And that's just when they look their best. Look at that. Have to think about where this might go. This was from a nursery called Explosive Growth in Dural. If you are into cacti, go there. Go, go to Explosive Growth in Dural or Glenhaven. They're two suburbs that are side by side. So if you just Google explosive growth, you, you'll find it. They mostly have a cactus collection. That is just like splendid. Not cheap but really great selection of cactus plants yeah so that i did not get i did not get an expensive cactus this i think was something like eight dollars i think this was eight again i don't pay attention if i like something and it's kind of cheap i'll just grab it this is this is a little bit more the kind of thing that i'm looking for than this this is this is also nice it's not too bad but like this is this one is my jam. And the last plant that I got from Explosive Growth Nursery is this plant here. It's tall, it's stalky, it's my kind of thing. And the red stalks against the green leaves, I think are just divine. It's all about contrast, isn't it? If we're gonna start talking about design, contrast creates focus. Let's give you a better look at those leaves and those stems. How good is that? Again, stalky, wild, desert vignette. I love it. All right, price. Price, price, price for this one. It's $9.50. So not bad. Not bad at all, Dural. You are bringing the goods. Oh yeah, so I lied. We didn't go to three nurseries. We went to four. This is a Crassula Purple Dragon from Mother Earth Nursery in Kenthurst. And Kenthurst is part of that whole cluster of suburbs that is Dural, Glenhaven, Kenthurst. This was $30. It's a fairly big plant. Um, I'm keeping it separate from everything else because I did notice that it had a little bit of mealy. It actually had a lot of mealy. And yeah, I can see one right there. I was spot treating it because it's not too out of control at the moment. What I might do, because I keep finding little friends everywhere, is spray it, hose it down, and then repot it. It's labeled a succulent, but it doesn't really look like a succulent. It doesn't look like other crassulas is what I'm trying to, like the, the thickness of the leaves aren't like other crassulas. It's dark green with purple undersides which is one of my fave combos really so um i had to go home with it this was the only kind of this plant available so yeah there wasn't really another one to choose from that was as infested i just didn't even notice oh my lord there's just merely everywhere i can see little bugs nestled into the nooks and crannies of this plant but it doesn't have that like mealy residue all over it just yet so i think that there's still hope there better be for like it costing me 30 dollars for this plant how pretty is that look at that so this will be another indoor plant that hopefully won't require as much attention as something like a begonia. It's colorful, it's very pretty, 
It's bushy. All right, friends, that is it for my plant haul today. Yep, has just started raining again, so definitely will be an indoor day. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Like, subscribe, notification bell, all the things just help out this new channel of mine, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.